Hey curl friends, it's Gabrielle Aishel. Let me scoot back so y'all can see I have a shirt on. So today's video is going to be a fun get to know me video. I've done two of them already. One was like a general get to know me and then the second one was about my hair, get to know me about my hair. But they were so long ago, maybe like two years ago and now that I have 9,000 subscribers, wow that's so crazy. Now that I have 9,000 subscribers, new people are here watching my channel, so I just wanted to do a little get to know me so the new people can get to know me, okay? Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I'm so appreciative of it and it just warms my heart that so many people are watching my channel content so anyways thank you so much and let's just get into it so the first few questions they're like typical questions my name is Gabrielle I shall I shall is my middle name my dad named me Gabrielle because he liked the name and my mom gave me I shall and I think when she was naming me she was thinking of a scripture like um i don't know the exact scripture but i remember a story about um the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i shall whatever so i think that's that i don't know if that's i hope that's my dad actually but my mom is actually no longer living she died when i was 11 so i can't actually get the source of my middle name unless my dad knows which he may or may not but since my mom named me you know it will be her story to tell anyways i think that is where it came from okay i am 30 years old i just turned 30 in march march 22nd is my birthday i'm team aries okay so let me know in the comments below if you're also an aries i don't feel old i don't look old i always get compliments and people asking me am I like 18 years old it's kind of annoying I feel like since I cut my hair I should be looking a little bit more older and more sophisticated but people don't see that so I guess black don't crack it's a good thing but yes I'm 30 years old <laughs> and I look like a baby <laughs> okay where do I live I live in Maryland I have lived in Maryland all my life except for when I went to school in Pittsburgh. I went to the University of Pittsburgh. Go Pitt. Hell to Pitt. I was raised in PG County, Pretty Girl County, Prince George's County. I've, I've lived here all of my life so <laughs> nothing really exciting when it comes to where I lived. How long have I been a YouTuber? Well I've been a YouTuber for about two and a half years. I started October 26, 2019. So this will be three years coming up. And I'm really excited about the growth that I had on my channel because I really, really was not expecting people to follow me, subscribe to me, and like my content. And it's really just amazing how many people you can touch with a YouTube channel. If you don't know, Welcome to my channel. I do a lot of natural hair videos. I went natural and that was really the reason that I started my channel. I wanted to document my journey, my natural journey because I was relaxed. So I transitioned to natural hair and I knew that it would be kind of a tough journey because having two different textures is crazy. But I, And I also, when I was looking for videos on YouTube, I couldn't find that many recent videos and up-to-date videos when I was actually transitioning. So I wanted to help girls out and provide transitioning videos that were current and using products that were currently out and just share my experience and hopefully to help someone else along their natural hair journey as well. Obviously I am fully natural now, so now I do videos, I do review videos, I do uh, tutorials and I also like to do DIYs and fashion videos so there's a little bit of everything but I'm 
focus on natural hair. So that was kind of off subject, but yes, my YouTube channel has been here for almost three years and I'm excited about the growth. I'm at 9,000 subscribers and I'm almost at 10,000 and it's so crazy because some people talk about how they're struggling to get 1,000 uh, 1, subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours that you need, but I got that within six months of starting my YouTube channel. So my channel, I think, is really successful for me and also not being a full-time YouTuber because I do have work. I do have other things that I need to be doing other than my YouTube channel. So sometimes YouTube is on the back burner and this is another video that I'm going to be actually filming today after I do this one about taking breaks because sometimes you can get burned out. But that's another video. Okay, um, how long have you been natural? I've been natural for about three years as well. Um, three years, May 1st. So three years and one month, I transitioned to natural hair. So I count that first year that I was transitioning and then I've been fully natural for two years. So the next question is, what products do you use? I am a natural hair YouTuber, like I said before. So I have playlists and playlists of videos of all the products that I use. I do test out a lot of products, but there are some staple products and I'll put those in the cards above my top 10 products of 2021, top 10 products of 2020. I'll put those up in the cards above and also in the description box below. So go ahead and check those out. The next question is, what is your favorite thing about yourself? And I would say my smile. I, I like my smile because, and I feel like it's a compliment I get a lot too from other people. Like you have a really nice smile and that makes me feel confident. I like that. So I also think that my smile is one of the fav my favorite things about myself. What is something that you fear? Um, I am really scared of bugs and mice. I had a mouse in my garage and I'm so thankful that it didn't come in my house. I was actually coming back when I came back from Costa Rica. I always leave my suitcase in the garage after I travel because you don't know what you can pick up when you put when you um, come from like hotels, Airbnbs, like animals, bugs, whatever. Suitcase stays in my garage, and then I take each item out one by one and I like shake it to make sure there's nothing in there and then I put it directly in the washing machine. <laughs> so in that process, while it was my bag was in the garage and I was actually going to get it to wash the clothes, I saw something run from one side to the other side of my garage and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I closed the door really quick and I, my boyfriend got it. We bought some mouse traps and he got it for me but after that, I took my car out of the garage. I did not go into my garage for three weeks. And it was only because it started raining like really bad. So fear mice. Another one, this is a basic one. How tall are you? I am five foot nine, technically five foot eight and a half, but I round up. I'm an accountant. So I round up five foot nine. <laughs> Yes, and uh, another question was, what do you do for a living? I'm an accountant. I am a CPA, which is a certified public accountant. I went to school and majored in accounting and finance and uh, minored in economics. Took my CPA exam and I am a CPA. So fun fact about me, I like money. I like numbers. The next question is, who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> He actually just did a versus battle and I'm so mad I missed it, but my celebrity crush has been from day one, Omari Granberry, Omarion. He is my husband in my mind. <laughs> Where have you traveled? Okay, outside of the US, I'm gonna assume that means where have you traveled inter internationally? Sorry, I can't talk y'all. <laughs> so, most recent travel, I went to Costa Rica for my birthday. Just link up in the, the cards above and in the description box below of the vlog. Last year I went to St. Thomas. 
Virgin Islands. I usually try to go on at least one big trip every year. COVID messed that up for 2020. So 2022, Costa Rica, 2021, St. Thomas, 2020, nowhere. 2019, I went to Italy and I went to Canada. In 2018, I went to Jamaica. 2017, I skipped that year because I bought my house. 2016, I went to Puerto Rico. 2012, I studied abroad in London. So from there, weekends, we went to Paris, we went to Belgium, Bruges, we went to Amsterdam. And I think that's it. So I've been, I've been around. My passport has a few stamps in it. So <laughs> I, that's something I really do enjoy doing. I love traveling and seeing different parts of the world because I am able to, like, I'm able to see and learn different parts of the world. So of course I'm going to do that, take advantage of that and enjoy new experiences, meeting new people. I love it. So yes, to traveling. And okay, I can also do inside of the US. I really want to go to every single state. But right now I've only been to all the states on the East Coast, basically. I've been to Texas. I went there last year. I went to Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been to Denver, Colorado. Uh, I've been to Minnesota. I also went there last year for the first time. And that's about it. So I got a lot of places to go within the US, outside of the US. I can't wait till this COVID pandemic is completely over. So. I can feel more comfortable traveling. I have still been traveling, obviously, during the pandemic, but not as often as I probably would have. Okay, there's another question. How do you balance YouTube and work and your life? I try to film multiple videos in one sitting, which is called batch recording. And it's really helpful because usually I get all dolled up to go nowhere, but to make a video for you guys <laughs> and so one one i don't want to be putting my makeup on every single day to film one video each day why not just do two three videos all at one time so sometimes i actually change my outfit for the video that i film the same day so you guys won't know that i'm batch, batch recording but that is really how I balance it. And then editing, oh my God, that is literally like the hardest part of being a YouTuber, editing, because it takes so long, especially if you're like me and you're not perfect and you say it, um and uh, and you have like brain farts and things like that that you need to edit out. You literally have to watch the entire video through, cut out the pieces that you don't want. And sometimes if you're like me, you're like rambling on and sometimes, that's just not necessary for a video, so you cut that piece out. Editing takes hours and hours. So I like to edit on the weekends, try to do a lot of the editing on the weekends because it is hard to sometimes get in the mood to edit after a long day of work. So batch recording, editing on the weekends, and trying to get it mostly done on the weekends so that my video is ready to post on Wednesdays because I post every Wednesday. Yeah, so that's a little bit about me. I hope you I got, uh, 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 uh. see, that's something that I would edit out, but for the sake of this video, <laughs> I'm keeping it in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me. If you're a new subscriber, once again, I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you are really enjoying the content that I am providing you. And if you have any suggestions of any other things that you would like to see from me, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until my next post, I'll see you guys later. Bye.